Hello, my name is Keith Malone and I'm a visual artist and painter based in Dublin. Uh, I, started, I started drawing from a very young age. I got involved with art because I was really into books and reading and um, I really enjoyed like imagining the different ways of working and I found that I was more of a visual thinker, visual learner and um, from there I got more so into drawing and then only recently, about five years ago, I got into painting and um, began to experiment with different mediums and ways of working. I started college in Dublin, the National College of Art and Design, um, in 2019 and I'm going into my final year now and I've been uh, trying to work with new ways of doing things. I've been working with um, very focused on materials and um, different like mediums. I'm really involved with uh, using household paints and I, I really enjoy the different ways that they can, um, the different things they have to offer. I found that um, not being able to go anywhere over the last year, that with the, the themes of my paintings, they kind of reveal themselves to me uh, after, I think most of my process is involved with doing research and trying to um, collect things from around. Like I do, with, when I'm working with materials especially, I like to make my own canvases. I like to um, find things that I can gather um, from around, especially because I live in countryside. Um, I can kind of use that to, to work through different ideas and I find a lot of the time I can, um, the, working through those materials and working through those processes kind of uh, helps me to like reveal the painting. I never really go into any situation, especially when I begin painting, that where I recognise uh, what I'm doing at the beginning. I never go in with any specific idea. I kind of allow the painting to reveal itself over time. And I think as much the, the research and the gathering of materials is as much part of the painting as the actual painting itself. I think when the painting is finished, that's when you realise that all you've really done is you've put all of the things you've gathered into one place. Well, um, for the two paintings I have in this exhibition, um, I was really concentrated on, for the, for the crucifixion painting, I um, really got involved with um, trying to interpret uh, the works of Francis Bacon in colour and try and put my own spin on it and try to like um, show the different forms I could create and kind of put them against uh, an interesting background and kind of make sure all the colours kind of came together in that way. For my other piece, which is a kitchen still life, um, I was really involved, I had been doing a lot of research on soutine and having to go out and find materials and um, you know, having spent a lot of time at home in the countryside, I found that um, there was a lot of things that I had to kind of like push, push myself to kind of discover. And um, I found that like just things from around the home uh, that kind of revealed the identity of a place um, really brought me into trying to make something that I thought I thought represented that place. And um, so I, I, and I found that like trying to show that um, different ways of working and finding that these different like objects that you find around in your home, um, again something that's so maybe like for instance if it's meat or something like that, something very organic against something very man-made and technical, that kind of like trying to show those two things together I thought was really interesting and it created a really good um, perspective on what I was trying to do. I had a really good experience here, the, the private viewing was really enjoyable, I think that um, it was great to see my work in the space and to be able to experience other people's work and to talk to people about their work. It was nice to be able to um, finally get out and, uh, and chat to people about art again and um, really be able to like uh, walk around the space and 